Hello all. Oh, I have so much to tell you. So first off, thank you so much for all the feedback um, on the Lou rolls. I didn't realize so many people shared my obsession with it. Uh, when I start leaving the house, I think I'm going to start taking photographic evidence. You should too. So thank you very much for that. I have a new hobby. <laughs> um, after all these years, it has occurred to me that one of my absolute most favorite things to do in the world is to take online courses. Um, so I've been taking courses on how to be a Facebook ads expert, how to choose the right category for your Amazon book, how to set up online courses, all sorts of interesting things. Uh, but the one thing is, is that you definitely have to watch three quarters at least of this lab. Otherwise, the Facebook, uh, um, I want to say analog, was it algorithm? will say that this is not, you did not engage and you did not love it. So even if you're not watching, you've got to leave it running so that Facebook thinks I'm fabulous, even if no one else does. The next thing that I learned on my online course, which I'm super, I feel like a technology god today, is I learned how to put captions on these things. So after this has gone live, uh, I will then, uh, for, it'll take a few minutes, but then we'll be able to put closed captioning on this which I am super, super thrilled about. One, because you'll be able to watch it in bed without whoever you are in bed with being annoyed by my, my weird voice. Um, uh, yeah, the prospect of you getting to watch these without anybody having to hear my weird voice, because trust me, in my head, it does not sound like this. Uh, but then I watch these things back and it's weird. So uh, that I'm really excited about. I have to say, I'm really disappointed with my friends because I sent them all texts yesterday telling them how my technology got. And they were like, yeah, right, Penny, great for that. Um, what else did I want to tell you about? Yeah, I'm, I don't know whether I should be sad or happy today. Let me tell you what's happened. So one of my very dearest friends is off to her first appointment with the psychiatrist this morning. Um, and in part, I think, because of my journey, but in part also because of some other things that have happened in her life that made her think that actually maybe getting some professional help might be useful. And on the one hand, that makes me feel really happy because it can help, and getting help, I think, is the first step, acknowledging that you need the help and that, you know, with mental health issues, there is no quick fix. But you know what? If you had athlete's foot, you would put the antifungal cream on. We need to do the same if it's anxiety or depression or whatever it turns out to be. And on that front today, uh, many of you who know me in person will have met our beloved Rhoda. So Rhoda is our housekeeper. She has been with us. Uh, she lives with us and she has lived with us for more than a decade she has known the boys since they were very tiny so uh one of the things that i feel like i overlooked was that this year she lost a son too uh when joshie died and today this morning that kind of breakdown finally she let the mask slip and that she's not fine and uh and uh as an atheist i suppose i should be feeling proud that there's a new one in the in in my crowd but she has lost her faith and that makes me feel really sad that she feels like that so she is uh, in bed being slipped a couple of my urbanals for today but then tomorrow we'll be off to see the doctor see if we can get her some help as well um so again happy in that you know you can't get help until you say you need help but sad that we have found ourselves in this horrible place. But anyway, on to more weird things that make me feel mad, that make me feel anxious. Well, mad, anxious, whatever, call it whatever you like. So most of you will notice that I wear a Batman t-shirt every day. <laughs> and I was lying in bed last night thinking, oh my God, if anybody is watching these, um, sessions they must think like I don't like you know I, I have poor personal hygiene or I only wear um you know the one t-shirt again and again 
but I wanted to assure you that that is not the case. In fact, I have proof. So I actually have three Batman t-shirts. There's the one I'm wearing today, the one I wore yesterday that is in the wash, and then there's one that I wear least, least often, but there we go. The reason is that I wear it least often is not because uh, I don't love it, because I love all my Batman t-shirts, um, but because it tends to get put at the bottom of the pile and the other two get recycled. Uh, for special days, high days and holidays, we wear the flash because Joshy loved the flash. So that is one that actually Shannon bought me whilst we were in the States. Oh, let me open it up so you can see it. I'm just lazy because I don't want to refold it afterwards. There we go. There's the flash because the flash was actually one of Joshy's favorite uh, DC characters. Um, his absolute favorite was Green Arrow, but it's really difficult to get. Uh, green Arrow merchandise. If anyone knows where to find Green Arrow merchandise, you've got to tell me, not Green Lantern. Green Lantern is just so uncool, it's beyond the pale. Um, I really do feel for Stanley at the moment because I'm sure if there is an afterlife, <sighs> yeah, Joshy can be really bo boring on the subject of DC versus Marvel. We also have Spiding. Yes, which we wear from time to time. Spider is a bit tight, so I have this illusion that I'm going to lose weight, and then I'll wear Spidey more often. And then there is the good old Superman, which I think I inherited from Shannon, who wore Spider-Man to uh, Josh's memorial, but he is not as keen on superhero t-shirts as I am. And my absolute favoritist one is one that... Uh, I've got to get your name right because we always call you Shoshan. Susan May, who who was a colleague of Shannon's in Unilever, had made for us, and this is my absolute favorite. So she had this printed for us. Can you see that? Where, so I wear this around the house a lot, but it's getting quite faded because I wear it all the time. Wait, I can't get it into the center. There we go. So there you can see, if I get it right, there is the Josh with the S of Superman. And I just love that so much. So you can see, <laughs> you can see it's getting really, really uh, faded and old, but it is absolutely the best. And you were a wonderful person who took care of my husband and us in the time when we really, really needed you. Um, and I hope you're having fun now without him. <laughs> So that is all I've got today. Please make sure you watch right until the end uh, so, that, so that Facebook thinks I'm fabulous. And guys, on a more serious note, if you think these are kind of funny, uh, please share them for that reason. But more, re more importantly, if you think that there is somebody who suffers with anxiety or is going through a period of grieving or just has some general uh, mental, illness, mental illness issues, even if it's undiagnosed. Guys, please share this with your community. Um, there is help out there, but also what I'm really hoping to do with this, aside from get over my own anxiety and be online, um, is also really just to prove that like, you, you can have a life, you can be funny, you can smile and laugh and yeah, and still have mental illness, but you don't have to feel shit every day. I guess that's the point. Sorry, excuse my language. See you tomorrow.